Hi everyone, I'm Stacy Notestein from Baby's Best Beginning. I wanted to talk to you today about nipple shield use, all right? There's lots of different reasons that we use nipple shields um, to help a baby to breastfeed. And some of those reasons include moms who are having trouble latching their babies, first of all, all right? Um, we also use them if moms have more flush or flat anatomy, if they have inverted nipples. If a mom has very sore nipples, um, we will use them for that reason as well. It kind of puts a barrier between mom and baby, all right? And then I've used them quite a bit uh, working in the NICU setting where um, those babies are premature, so they may not have the structure that they need um, to stay on the nice soft breast tissue. So we might use it for that reason, because a nipple shield provides structure. So this is one sample of a nipple shield. So it's a very thin silicone covering that goes over top of the nipple. And if a baby is breast and bottle feeding, what we know is this feels very similar to a bottle to a baby, all right? Instead of our nice soft tissue. So some babies do better um, using a nipple shield when we're trying to go back and forth between breast and bottle. Those babies who are having latch difficulty, this too, it provides structure and provides a little bit um, longer nipple if moms have those flat nipples to hit into the suck reflex in the palate of the mouth, okay? The other thing that we know about nipple shields is that um, we really try and use them as, as a temporary means to get a baby to the breast, all right? It's kind of like training wheels. So when a, a child is learning to ride a bike, they often need training wheels. They don't need them forever. So many times we start off using a nipple shield and our goal is always to wean away from that nipple shield. So I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. But it's just a thin little plastic silicone, excuse me, covering that goes over top of the nipple. There are different types of nipple shields. So there's this type that you can see, it goes all the way around. And there's the type that um, we call, this is a contact nipple shield, where there's a cutout that goes over top. And the thought is that when mom puts this on, she wants to position her baby that the baby's nose is gonna be touching here. So for example, if she was nursing her baby across her, then she would want to put the shield that the opening would be over here where the baby's nose would touch, okay? So the thought is that when the baby um, is on the breast, that they can still smell mom and their nose is touching against bare skin, okay? Both work, in my opinion, equally well. So the other thing to know that gets a little tricky about nipple shields is um, that we need to fit both mom and baby. Nipple shields come in different sizes, so some people may not know that. And common ones that you can get out on the market, um, for example, are the Medela nipple shield. And Medela makes three sizes of nipple shield. They make an extra small, they make a small, and they also make a medium shield. Okay, that one I don't have in the package. So those are the three sizes that Medela makes. All right, the other one that you can find out on the market um, is Lanzano. So Lanzano, um, they break theirs down into a size one and a size two. So the tricky thing is that you need to fit both mom and baby when you're fitting a nipple shield. So if you have a small baby, let's say a baby who was born a little bit premature, you may need a little bit smaller nipple shield to fit their mouth. And for a mom who's just an average size, who has average size um, breasts and the nipple diameter, we need to fit her and it's based on nipple diameter. So the other thing that I often see moms uh, where there's a, a little bit of a difference, these sizes of nipple shields do not correlate with your breast shield size. So um, the breast shield or flange that you use for pumping, they are a different size. So just know that, okay? When we talk about sizing with nipple shields, it is the diameter right here. The nipple shields, the length is all the same, but it's the diameter where mom's nipple would sit inside that, okay? So that's how it gets a little tricky when we're sizing nipple shields because we have to fit both mom and baby, all right? So I wanna talk a minute about how do you put it on because I see moms 
so many times not putting it on correctly, all right? So when you put a nipple shield on, and for the sake of um, our video, we're gonna use um, this little breast right here. When you put this on, you want to take the nipple shield, and if you were facing, if I was putting this on, you wanna take the nipple shield, you wanna invert it maybe about halfway, just like that, okay? So you're gonna take it, you're gonna place both your fingers like this, you're gonna invert it, stretch it, it's fine, it's stretchy, and then you're gonna fit the nipple right over top and pop it on, all right? And it should suction on. So again, if this, um, for the sake again of demonstration, we're gonna take the nipple shield, invert it, stretch it, and then you're gonna take and you're gonna put it right over top of the nipple, just like that, okay? So again, if I was nursing my baby across, I would want this cutout to face right over here, okay? Some moms will take a little bit of lanolin and put that on here or breast milk um, to get it to stick a little better. But honestly, if you put it on using this technique where you take it, stretch it, and then pop it on like that, you're gonna be fine. You're not gonna need any of that, okay? So that's how you put it on. What, the other thing that's really helpful is once it's on, if moms can go ahead and express a couple drops of milk to go into the nipple shield so that when the baby latches, that there's already milk in the shield. That's really helpful as well, okay? When you latch your baby using the nipple shield, it would be no different than when we're trying to latch a baby without the nipple shield, okay? So when the baby is here, we want to take the nipple shield and stroke start right underneath the nose, stroke down just like that. Okay, when the baby opens, wait till they open their mouth, then you're going to go ahead, The baby, you're gonna bring the baby to you, aim the, the nipple shield to the palate in the mouth, the roof of the mouth, okay? The other thing that we wanna make sure when a baby is latched on with a nipple shield is that both of their lips are nice and open and flanged. Okay, they shouldn't be on the nipple shield just kind of like with these little tiny pursed lips, just like this. Their lips should be right here and they should be using their tongue just like this, all right, to extract the milk. If they're right here on the tip of the shield and just doing this motion, they're not going to be transferring a whole lot of milk. Okay, so those are some tips for um, nipple shield use. As far as taking care of a nipple shield, um, you always wanna wash this, just like you would your pump pieces and parts. You wanna wash this in hot soapy water after every single use, okay? Um, one little hack that a lot of my moms have shared with me is that they buy multiple, multiple, multiple um, nipple shields, all right? And then keep them in a little, uh, either a Ziploc or some kind of little, maybe a wet dry bag works really, um, that works great too. Okay, so they're clear, they get thrown away. I will tell you, dogs love to eat these. <laughs> All right, so have multiple ones around. All right, um, as far as weaning from the shield, I do wanna talk about that for a minute. So what, um, you know, what I'd like to share with you as far as weaning, every baby's different as far as how long they're gonna need a nipple shield. Some babies will need them just for a couple days, a week, some babies will need them for months and months and months. It just depends. But I would definitely, if you're using a nipple shield, you wanna make sure that you're trying to wean away every so often. And what that looks like is you would be nursing the baby, and then when you go to switch to the other side, you would go ahead, take the nipple shield off and try and latch them without the nipple shield. That tends to work pretty well, okay? so. That's nipple shield use. The other thing um, that you are gonna read, um, get on Dr. Google and look around, um, nipple shields get a bad rap because what you will read is that, oh, using a nipple shield will decrease your milk supply. And that is not true. An actual nipple shield is not gonna drop your supply. What's gonna drop your supply is if you're continuing um, to have issues latching your baby, all right? So again, if your baby's not latching well, and they're not nursing well, then yeah, that's gonna drop your supply, okay? 
So if your baby is not nursing well and you're using a nipple shield, then you should be pumping after that attempt. If your breasts still feel full and they're not empty, you need to empty your breast with the pump, okay? I would definitely, um, if you're using a nipple shield and you're struggling with breastfeeding, then reach out, reach out for help, all right? I can be reached uh, on my website, You, it's at uh, babiesbestbeginning.com. Uh, you can email me, Stacy, S-T-A-C-Y, no E in there, at babiesbestbeginning.com as well. Um, you can reach me on Facebook, on, on uh, Instagram, it's Stacy dot, or I'm sorry, it's babies, B-A-B-Y-S dot best dot beginning. Um, and I have a YouTube channel um, that we're going to post this to as well. So um, there you go. So that's nipple shield use. Reach out for help. This is not to be used forever while you're nursing. All right, let's try and wean away from it. It's a temporary tool. All right, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful and uh, reach out for help if you need me. All right, thanks so much.